Now, here's your forecast first from Fox 11 severe weather expert Patrick Powell. Wind chill advisories are in place basically for the entire area and the entire state until noon tomorrow. These will run through the overnight hours as temperatures and wind chills will both drop into the negative 20s. Here you see those wind chill advisories not only for Wisconsin, but all of Minnesota in the western half, the upper peninsula, much of lower Michigan and most of Iowa. Wind chill advisories widespread as the cold air is also widespread. Five right now with sunny skies here in Green Bay. Winds west southwest still at 13 miles an hour, pushing the wind chill down to minus 12. We'll fall to one by 10 o'clock, minus eight tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine, but wind chills during the morning hours are going to be running mainly in the negative 20s and then only improving the negative single digits as we climb to 11 tomorrow afternoon. So with that, severe weather index in the moderate category, wind chills as cold as minus 30, especially for northwest parts of the area. Cold weather continues at least for the next five days. Temperatures overnight near minus 8. Winds are going to be southwest at 5 to 15 miles an hour. That's going to push wind chills down as cold as minus 30 and could cause frostbite on exposed skin in as little as 15 minutes. Average high this time of the year is 26. We're nowhere near that for the next five days. Then a nice little warm up the middle of next week and we could get into a little bit of light snow, especially Wednesday night into Thursday next week. Right now, seven in Appleton. Wind chills currently at minus 11. Temperatures around the state sitting in low single digits, even minus one already at Wausau where the wind chills currently minus 21. We're going to see those wind chills drop through the overnight hours. Wider view shows big area of high pressures kind of sliding by to our south. That keeps us in the westerly winds, also funnels the cold air across the state. That's why we'll see such cold temperatures overnight and the wind chills dropping into the minus 20s. But as this high starts to move off towards the east, we'll temporarily and briefly start to moderate a little bit, but also a little weak storm is going to move across the Wisconsin Illinois border on Saturday and bring a little bit in the way of some light snow or snow showers to the area during the day Saturday. Not expecting a lot of snow, but it is the sturgeon open opener on Saturday. Could see one to two inches of snow, especially across the southern portions of the area during the middle portions of the day for tonight. Mostly clear minus eight for the overnight low wind chills as cold as minus 30 tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies 11 for the afternoon high and then on Saturday mostly cloudy some occasional light snow 16 for the high Saturday and then 14 on Sunday with mostly cloudy skies six for the high Monday eight on Tuesday. So still very cold at least through Tuesday. Then 22 on Wednesday and 28 next Thursday with a little light snow coming in next Thursday. So a moderating trend in the middle <laughs> of next week. That would actually be right about average for this time of the year. My goodness. We haven't seen that in a we while. Haven't. No, we haven't. We haven't. No. Can't thank, wait. Thank goodness. Can't though. wait. Oh, <laughs> exactly. It's a winter that will never end. All right, thanks, Patrick.